chapter eight the sacred garden and this is our last chapter for this year or oh, and for this story the sacred garden okay the title is mr craven comes home and through this title we will know that mr craven will come home and see his son let's see why is the secret garden was returning to life a man with high crooked shoulders was wandering around the most beautiful places in Europe. 14 years he had lived this lonely life 14 years he had lived this lonely life his heart full of sadness and his head full of dark dreams everywhere he went he carried his unhappiness with him like a black cloud other travelers thought he was half mad or a man who couldn't forget, forget some terrible crime. Mad here, like, uh, equal crazy. And the crime, as you see, something bad that is against the law. His name was Archibald Craven. But one day, as he sat by a mountain stream, as you like, as you see in the sea, as you, as you see in the picture, and this is the stream. Yes. As he said, by a mountain stream, he actually looked at a flower. And for the first time in 10 years, he understood. Understood what? How beautiful something living could be. The valley seemed very quiet as he sat there, staring at the, the flower. He felt strangely calm. Okay, turn over the page, page 55. What is happening to me? He whispered. I feel different. I almost feel I am alive again. At that moment, hundreds of miles away on Yorkshire, in Yorkshire, Colin was seeing the sacred garden for the first time and saying, I am going to live forever and ever and ever. But Mr. Craven didn't know this. So Mr. Craven and his and his son, at the same time, at their places, they felt alive for the first time. That night, in his hotel room, he slept better than usual. As the weeks passed, he even began to think. He even began to think what underline he began to think a little about his home and his son again he even began to think a little about his home and his son one evening in late summer as he was sitting quietly beside the lake he felt the strange calmness again he fell asleep and had a dream that seemed very real he heard a voice calling him it was sweet and clear and happy, the voice of his young wife. Oh, so he heard the voice of his wife. Arch, 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 she said. My dear, he jumped up. Where are you? And he said, where are you in the dream? Underline please this quotation. My dear, he jumped up. Where are you? In the garden called the beautiful voice and then the dream ended in the morning when he woke he remembered that dream she says she is in the garden he thought but the door has locked and the key has buried that morning he received a letter underline please that morning he mr craven received a letter from Susan Sorby, and we knew who was Susan Sorby? Yes, Martha's and the Deacon's mother. In it, she asked him to come home. Mrs. Sorby asked him to come home, but she didn't give a reason. She didn't say why she asked him for this. Mr. Craven thought of his dream and decided to return to England immediately. On the long journey back to Yorkshire, he was thinking about Colin. So, in his long journey, he was thinking about what? He was thinking about his son, Colin. <coughs> I wonder how he is. I wanted to forget him because he makes me think of his mother. 
He lived and she died. But perhaps I have been wrong. Susan Sorby says I should go home, so perhaps she, think, she thinks I can help him. When he arrived home, he found the housekeeper very confused. Underline please, when Mr. Craven arrived home, he found the housekeeper, Mrs. Medlock, very confused about calling the hills. And confused here, and confused here means unable to think clearly, unable to speak clearly to him about Colin's health. Again, when he arrived home, he found on the line, he found the housekeeper very confused about Colin's health. And she said to him, underline this quotation please, he is very strange, sir, said Mrs. Medlock. He looks better. He is very strange, sir, Mrs. Medlock, said Mrs. Medlock, he looks better and we now finished we have finished uh, part one chapter eight let's practice it okay complete in his hotel room mr mr craven began to think a little about his about his home and his son yes mr craven received a letter from mrs sorby yes when Mr. Craven arrived home, he found the housekeeper, what, very confused about Colin's health. Again, guys, in his hotel room, Mr. Craven began to think a little about his home and his son. Mr. Craven received a letter from, from Sorby, Mrs. Sorby. When Mr. Craven arrived home, he found the housekeeper very confused about Colin's health. Look at this quotation. My dear, where are you? Who said this? Do you remember the dream? Mr. Craven's the dream? Yes. My dear, where are you? Who said this? Mr. Craven. To whom? His wife. Where were these words said? These words were said in Mr. Craven's the dream. Yes. Quotation number two. He is very strange, sir. He looks better. Who said this? Do you remember when Mrs. Medlock was speaking with Mr. Craven about Colin's health? Yes. He is very strange, sir. He looks better. Who said this? Mrs. Medlock. To whom? Mr. Craven. What are they talking about? They are talking about? Yes, Colin's, Colin. All Colin, Colin, Colin's health. They, they are talking about Colin. Yes. And now we have finished chapter 8, part 1.